What if I told you that there was a YouTube channel that posts once a month and still gets 27 million views on average? Most of you would say I'm kidding, but this is the story of Mark Rober, a former NASA and Apple engineer and now turned YouTuber, who has managed to crack the YouTube algorithm, it seems. Mark broke onto the YouTube scene many years ago with a viral Halloween costume video, which was just genius by the way. All right, here's an idea for a relatively simple Halloween costume. Uh, so basically a white shirt, cut a hole in the front, cut a hole in the back, and then you use some fake blood, red paint will work, uh, and then basically put a duct tape and iPad to the front, it have to be iPad too, and an iPad to the back, and then start a FaceTime video chat, and it kind of looks like you got a hole in your body. And if the part of your ass kind of lame, he had millions of views from that video and immediately a light bulb lit up in Mark. In this video, I'm going to break down some of the key things he does that makes his videos so highly sought for. If you can't wait to find out Mark Rober's secret, then kindly hit the like and subscribe to this channel. My name is Kekeli and I analyze thriving YouTube channels and break down their growth so you can learn and grow your channel as well. Let's get into this video. As I said earlier, Mark Roba is a NASA engineer who helped put Curiosity on Mars in 2012. I mean, how many people on Earth can achieve such a feat? After watching hours and hours of his videos, I was beginning to see a pattern that Mark has mastered as a result of being an engineer. Mark may or may not know it, but he always applies the scientific method to all his videos. Speaking of science, YouTube is a science and an art form and it's always better to tackle things from a scientific approach. That is why I recommend vidIQ to all video creators watching this. vidIQ takes away the guesswork and helps you focus on what is needed for your channel to grow. You can compare various channels and find hidden elements that make them stand out, which you can replicate for similar results. vidIQ is great for content creators. It doesn't only give you the best insights into your channel and those of your competitors, but it also helps you save precious time when uploading a video, adding tags, finding keywords, titling, etc. Their Chrome extension works great on any Chromium browser. It makes your YouTube experience a better one. You should really give vidIQ a try. Use the link in the description to sign up. It's an affiliate link, so by signing up, you are supporting my channel as well. Thanks. Now back to the scientific method. If you don't know what a scientific method is, well, it's a simple step-by-step -step approach used by scientists and engineers to solve everyday problems. According to Khan Academy, the scientific method can be broken down into one, observation, two, questioning, three, hypothesis, four, prediction, five, test of prediction, and six, iteration. Believe it or not, this is the basis of all of Mark Rober's videos. Trust me, I've watched a lot. When someone as smart as Mark, who helped send a robot to another planet, focuses on YouTube, which is also built on science, then it's no real surprise that Mark has been able to crack the YouTube algorithm and gain millions of subscribers and loyal followers over the years. Mark's videos are unique and extreme. You wouldn't find Mark doing some lame science experiment. No, no, no. He always goes for projects that are over the top and leave you with questions that can only be answered by watching his video. Another strong point of Mark is that he's a great storyteller and video editor. That maybe is a little bit of a special sauce is like framing the story, coming up with a cool story and just telling that story. Yes, Mark still edits his videos himself, which I really respect. Some creators have 50,000 subscribers get a whole team to script, film, edit, and publish their videos. Can you imagine? Mark sticks to the basics and shows you that the content is always king. Mark puts so much effort into his videos that the most boring science concepts are told in an entertaining, practical, and relatable way. I wish my science teacher was this creative. To me, it's like making a, uh, a Marvel sculpture where you're, you have a hunk of Marvel at first, that's all your raw footage. And it's like chip away at everything that isn't the video. And in the end, you're just left with what the video is. So that process of chipping that away, I, I, don't, I don't know how to outsource that. 
Mark always ties his videos to a story, which forms the basis of his videos and which drives the plot keeps you watching. I'm gonna break down one of his videos so you can clearly see the scientific method approach at work. Observation. In this video, Mark has observed that squirrels are constantly eating the bird feed. Now, if you're wondering why I would go through all this trouble, we need to go back eight weeks ago when I found myself stuck at home and very bored. So I installed a bird feeder and decided to become a bird watcher. And it was just so lovely. Until they showed up. And all the bird feeders he buys are not able to prevent them from taking the feed. So I bought another squirrel-proof bird feeder to replace it. It's got this outer... He has noticed that the squirrels are intelligent and can adapt to solve problems. He already has a story building up that he can take so many ways. The next phase is questioning. Could I design a bird feeder to deter squirrels? How can Mark have a bird feeder that prevents squirrels from eating the bird feed and at the same time helps the squirrels? Mark adds a little flair to his question because, I mean, he helped put a robot on Mars. He can't reduce himself to just building an ordinary bed feeder. That's why he decides to build a ninja course for the squirrels to traverse to get to the walnuts. And so after a couple weeks of brainstorming, designing, and building with my buddy John, we put it all together in this 20 second build montage. Here are the basic elements. Mark has just added a level of excitement, curiosity, and uniqueness to his video. I mean, how many people do you know that can build a ninja course for squirrels in their backyard? You start asking yourself questions like, can he build it? Will it work? Who will win? Mark or the squirrels? That's what moves us to the next, which is hypothesis. His hypothesis is simple. To build an obstacle course that will test the squirrel's abilities and thereby create a truly squirrel-proof bird feeder. This course will also test the intelligence and athleticism of the squirrels. You can already see that this is going to be interesting. Mark has put you in a place of suspense. The average viewer will at this point want to keep watching to see if the squirrels actually made it. Mark has you hooked at this point and this increases his watch hours. His focus is on the story and not on how he built the obstacle course, which might be interesting to some but the majority will not care. When you are shooting your videos, it's always important to know what to include in the video that helps with the continuity of the story. Mark puts all the technical obstacle course build stuff within a short montage that is quite satisfying to watch. That's days of contents compressed in 20 seconds and we still get the picture. Next stage is prediction. Now that the course is built, it's time to test it. And this is what this entire video is really about. Mark explains his video to you in more detail to give you the audience a better appreciation of it. So the first challenge is the bridge of instability. Now this may look easy, but the trick is it attaches at a single point on each end. And from a physics standpoint, that makes it no different than trying to crawl across a tightrope. He also adds humor to put a smile on your face as you watch. Finally, we've got my personal favorite, Fat Gus. He's just really charming and will strike a pose if he sees a camera. He also really likes to eat and he tips the scales at an impressive 800 grams. Complex science is being made practical and applicable through his videos. And this is what people love to watch in a Mark Rober video. How all these formulas we learned in school are actually being used in a practical way that is both fun to watch and genius at the same time. Test of prediction. Mark normally has a control for his experiments to measure the success rate of his hypothesis. But because this is a one-of-a-kind build, there isn't really a control for this experiment. But in some of the other videos, he does use a control to prove his hypothesis. The iteration stage is where you put together all the data that you've gathered from the experiment and try to make sense of it. Like the landing ability of the squirrels, their intelligence and more. All the other forms of data that he did not really plan for, like how vines grow and how animals survive in the night, are also shared as a result of his experiment. 
It's also made me realize that even amongst the structures and pavement and power lines, how interesting nature can be in a single suburban backyard if you just really stop to look. Even the plants are amazing. I had no idea that as vines grow, they spin around looking for something to grab onto. I didn't anticipate the wide variety of animals that use fences as inner yard highways to get around as a substitute for all the trees that existed before we got here. Even little interactions like this spider extending his life with this very timely leap into the unknown were just so delightful to see. Mark posts once a month mainly because he puts a lot of effort into his videos and whether you like it or not, data analysis takes time. This feeling of satisfaction when you watch Mark's videos is one of the things that keep people coming back for more. Mark ties all loose ends in the story, like did the squirrels make it? Which part was most challenging to them? Did one of the squirrels get launched? Etc. And there you have the scientific method that Mark Rober uses to create these captivating, entertaining, and educational videos. In conclusion, even though Mark normally releases one video per month, we all know that these videos have been in production for months and sometimes years. This makes it more satisfying to watch since more effort has gone into the production of his videos. Mark's videos and channel are an example of the kind of content YouTube is looking for. Some of the takeaways we can pick from Mark Rober is to create original and unique content that entertains and educates. Plan how you will tell your story to be engaging and impactful and the right audience will come along with you on your journey. Practical advice I would give is that content matters more than anything else. Like a lot of people get, oh, it's all about the thumbnail and it's all about how you hack the algorithm and you, you have to have the right tags on the video. It's like, forget about that. Just really try and focus on making good content, good stories. In the end, that will win out. And also do it, don't do it to become rich and famous, especially the young kids, this is my advice. Do it because you want to get better at making videos. That's what me and all my peers did. You didn't, we didn't know you could make money on videos when we started this thing, you know? We did it for our passion, our love. We wanted to get better at a thing. And just the more you make, the better you'll get. Hope this video was satisfying to watch. Kindly let me know your thoughts about this video in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do so for more of such content. Stay blessed.